put Christ first. Put him first when you wake up. Put him first when you're tired. Put him first when you have a lot on your plate. The need to get things done. You can get through this without the things that are making you stressed. Christ is the only way to make it. You need to put Christ first. He is more important than your job, your wants, and your dreams. First, put him first in your plans, and then in your money. Christ will be at the top no matter what. The Bible says that one day all people will bow down and say that Jesus is Lord. That means he comes first. It will be acknowledged by everyone no matter what. Why not put him first today? Jesus Christ is the only one who can be trusted by everyone in the universe. And while so-called greats are being buried in the ashes of history, Jesus Christ stands alone, unmatched, and matched. He is supreme. He is also our goal. He made everything, and it was all for him. Putting Jesus first is important, because I'm here to tell you that it can make a big change in my life if you do. God can make a big difference in your life when you put Jesus first. He has the power to remove some of the forces that decide how we think and what we do. Putting Jesus first was most important to us. What do you spend your time on? To spend time with Jesus, I mean constantly. Not just sometimes. And when you do, don't give him leftovers. Give him the best. Spend some time with God. Put him first in everything you do and guess what? Things in your life that will simmer down will get right side up a lot faster than you think. Not just bread. But every word that comes from God's mouth keeps people alive. There are too many times when we say, Lord, I will make time. We can't make time, sorry. We also say, Lord, I can make room for you. You won't be able to fit him in, sorry. We could try to make time for him, but why not give our time to him instead? That's a change in how you think. Either, either you hold on to time and make room for him. Or you say, Lord, this is all my time all day. Here it is, your word. You'll make your way for me no matter where I am or what I'm doing. Monday to Sunday. I get my 24 hours. It's yours. Because Jesus said, He would be close if we looked for him. We will find him when we look for him. He will reward us it's when we seek him. All of these things will be added for us when we seek him. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 tells us to first seek the kingdom of God. And then all other things would be given to us. Just in case you forgot, neither I nor you have to look for things. When we look for God, he gives us what we need. Psalm chapter 37 verse 5. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. You need to let Jesus be your Lord and Savior. The ninth line of Romans chapter 10 says that you will be saved if you say that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. In line 20 of Revelation 3. It says, Look, I stand at the door and knock. I will come in if someone hears me and opens the door. In other words, people need to accept Jesus Christ. He's not going to try to get into your life. You can't just become a Christian. You have to accept him as your Lord and Savior. You're not a Christian just because you're in church, but sometimes we only let him into a small part of our lives. He wants to take over our whole life. Lord, you're in charge of everything we have to say. If your kingdom does come, Lord, it must rule over every part of my life. You would also say that you love Jesus. But lately you haven't really put him first. There are other things in your life that have been getting in the way of Jesus. You have put him on your list of things to do. But it keeps getting pushed down as other things come up in your life. You need to put Jesus at the top of your list of things to do. And make him the center of your life. Now is the time to put Jesus first in every way. God wants to be a part of our lives. They can't just meet once a week. They can't be a box that we check. He can't be on the list of things to do. Jesus is more than a faith, a symbol, a story, or a theme. He's a real God who wants to have a connection with his people. As you live your life, he wants to be a part of it all. Things that are most important should go away first. And Jesus has to be in the middle if you put him first. Everything else will work out if you put Jesus first. As long as you are our top concern, we will take care of everything else. Because of you, Lord, we have life and are free from sin. Thank you, God, for letting us live out your plan for our lives and the reason you made us. Today, promise to follow Jesus.
be friends with him and eventually put your faith in him. The crust first. What does it mean? These four things would help me put something first. These four things are what it means to put something first in your life. For starters, it means it's important. It's important. Second, you has to be more important than everything else in our lives if it's going to be first. Third, Jesus needs time and money if he wants to be first in our lives. And if we want Jesus to be the most important thing in our lives, he has to be our drive. My first choice, I value him. Lord, I give you my time because I love you so much. The most important thing he should come first, the less important things can be done later. A lot of the things you've been putting first aren't going to mean as much as you thought they would. But a lot of the things you've been putting off that don't matter much now will matter a lot one day. We need to understand that everything we have, all of our money, all of our things, is going away. I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm just saying it so we can set our goals straight. I'm telling you and myself the same thing. We could be gone in an hour. We want Jesus to come first. And when we're too busy trying to make money, high men people work two or three jobs to buy things they don't need. Something like a bigger house, a more expensive car, something else about a yacht, or something else. And you're not going to ask for your bank amount when you're dying. No one in this room is going to say, bring my accountant. I need to know how much money I have in the bank. The only family and people who love you will want to feel calm knowing that you can meet Jesus at any time. That's what we do when we set priorities. We put the things that should come first in the right order. That is, put Jesus first. You need to follow him to put him first. Following Jesus has benefits. When we put Jesus first, follow his directions. Go where he tells us to go. And do what he tells us to do. We get benefits. He gives you more than you can hold now and a way to learn how to hold even more. We must love Jesus if we want to put him first in our lives. I need to love him. It says in Luke chapter 10 verse 27, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your stroke, all your strength, and all your mind. Your love can't be holy or mechanical. But we tell you to love the Lord your God, or you have to really love him. So, here is the deal. Don't go apart from Jesus. We've all lost touch with friends and people we used to spend time with because of time and distance in our lives. This could be physically, mentally, or both. But don't drift away from Jesus. To find him, you have to look for him. He wants to be a part of everything in your life. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Says Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, chapter 8 verse 17. O love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me. His chapter 55 verse 6 says, Seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him while he's near. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, it says that he rewards those who seek him with all their heart. What does it mean? These words tell us that we need to seek the Lord every chance we get. If we want to put Jesus first, we have to follow him and do what he tells us to do. That means doing what you're told. His word comes first John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning, it was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Scroll down to verse 14 to read. And the word became flesh and lived among us. And he saw his glory. The glory as of the only son of the father. He is the word. In other words, that putting Jesus first means putting the word first. What does that mean? It means that the word is not my last word. It becomes the rule I follow. I will be bound by this rule. I will be ruled by this word. It tells me how to treat my wife, my friend, my job, my children, and how to love and raise them. I have to follow it no matter what when it comes to money and how I treat my enemy. I believe that his word is the only thing that matters if I want to shift in my life that brings change. I'm going to live by the word. And here's the thing. The Bible says that the word is a light on my road, which means that it shows me the way to my future. When you put Jesus first, you share him with other people. When you believe in him, you share your faith with other people. To put Jesus first, you have to make sure you are all in. You have to believe in Jesus in order to put him first. He died for our sins and our shame when he came for us. He took our sickness upon himself and broke the wall between people and God. 
so that everyone who believes in him will live forever. With the movement of Jesus is what Jesus says.